Hey, what's up, everybody? Time for another game theory. <laughs> okay, fucked up. Time for another game theory video. <laughs> Remember, if you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share, support the channel if you want to appreciate it. Thanks. Quick little one today, because I like talking about the balance and the chaos, whatever kind of thing. Having a lot of overpowered moves. Well, quotation marks, overpowered moves. Or overpowered special moves, you know, overpowered normal moves, whatever. And kind of letting the game marinate and become its own kind of beast, right? And, you know, too many times games nowadays are pre-planned, right? Street Fighter Six so pre-planned, every normal has to have a specific use, whatever, that kind of thing. It makes it so there's not a lot of kind of, you know, discovery of the game. Because you already know, this move is supposed to do this. This move is supposed to do that, right? So, again, just because Alpha 1 has been on the channel recently, we'll use a game like Alpha 1 and show normals that function in ways that you might not normally think they do that actually add a different layer of, you know, kind of discovery to the game, right? So <clears throat> if we take a move like reuse a stand forward kick, whatever it might be, right? And I guess, you know, games are, God, we even got the fucking hitboxes here so you can see it, right? If we look at this, this is all stand roundhouse close up, right? You know what I mean? Now, when you look at this move, normally you would think, I think if you look at this move at face value, you would think this is reuse anti-air kind of normal, right? And you can anti-air with it. Now, unfortunately, because stand strongs are just so utterly obnoxious in Street Fighter Alpha 1 and Street Fighter Alpha 2, Shoto stand strong are absolutely fucking obnoxious, especially Ken and Akuma, because they can actually walk forward and harass you with stand strong, right? So stand forward does has, has its uses, but often you just default to stand strong because it's so powerful, right? So... What you might think of this move is at face value, the first hit is like, okay, that's the good part of the move. And then the second move is not as good. But as a matter of fact, if you actually play this game, you would see because Ryu's hitbox is actually not his foot, it actually stays behind him. This gives this move a kind of strange use that you, would, you might not look at it at face value, right? So I'm gonna try to do this with two hands, forgive me. Forgive me, Lord, I have sinned. So if we look at that, right? Hopefully the sweep doesn't hit from here. But remember, Ryu's leg can't be hit, right? So if I just move... I'm trying to do this with two hands, sorry. Did you see that? See that? Ryu's leg actually can't be hit, right? So he comes right down on top of your fucking head. Even for the roundhouse. That is an example of a interesting interaction because moves are not so pre-planned, you know, so to speak. When you give the game, you know, you let the game marinate and become its own beast. You have strange interactions like this and you're like, wow, reused. This looks like this should be reused, you know, kind of anti-air move. And then the secondary effect is, oh, well, I guess it can kind of hit the guy, right? You don't normally think about it like Super Turbo when you think about this move. You think about, okay, it does have a lot of hang time. I, I say hang time when I talk about these moves. It has a lot of hang time, so it can work for certain anti-airs in very specific situations. But other than that, you don't really use it unless you're, you know, using it as like a media attack, right? You know what I mean? There, you, you might use it, right? But in this game, it actually kind of beats pokes that, as I hit the wrong button, I'm sorry. That's the quality control we have here on the FGC on NBC. It can actually kind of, you know, stuff pokes in a sort of more traditional footsie sort of way that you might be surprised about, right? Now, unfortunately, the second hit of this move does jack shit damage. Unlike Akuma, Akuma's does double the damage, so it's a little bit more useful, you know what I mean? But it's an interesting interaction, I think, in this game that shows that when games are so not pre-planned, you can have moves function... Maybe in one way, the first hit doesn't function as good as you might think it does, which is, you know, kind of a, kind of partly this move's fault that this move is just so fucking useful, right? Mm -hmm. But although the first part of the move functions a little worse than you might hope, the second part of the move is actually functioning better than you would think. Anyway, remember if you liked the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share, support the channel if you want. I appreciate it. Thanks. The end.